Hello mga matusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, eto na ang request ninyo. Kayo naman talaga, pinasasabik ko lang kayo. Eh, sabik na sabik naman kayo. Okay? Ang i-discuss natin ay yung learning task number 4 ninyo. Yung problem solving involving variation. O, oh, saya kayo dyan. No, mag-comment nga kung naging masaya kayo at nakita nyo na ito. Masyado kayong uh, adik ata ngayon sa mat at gusto nyo na agad-agad matapos yung module number, ay uh, yung learning task number 4 nyo. Pero bago yan, siguraduhin mo munang pindutin mo na ang like button para hindi mo na ito makalimutan mamaya sa sobrang excitement mo. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, please pindutin mo na ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para kung may bago akong upload, ma-notify ka agad-agad. Okay na? O, sige na, at wag na nating patagalin pa ito kasi alam ko, eto na ang gusto ninyo. Okay, number one. The distance from the center of the seesaw varies inversely. So, yung mga keyword natin. As the weight of the person. So, yung D natin or yung distance natin is inversely proportional with our weight. So, pareho to ng problem dun sa module nyo ha. Pero, iniba ko syempre ang given para mag-solve pa rin kayo mamaya. Ha? Now, PJ who weights... Oh, who weighs 120 kilograms sits a uh, 5 feet from the fulcrum. Now, how far from the fulcrum must JP okay, sit in order to balance with JP if he weighs 150 kilogram? Okay, with that, kailangan natin ang formula natin for inverse variation where we have their Y is equal to K over X. Okay, pero dahil binigyan tayo ng talagang mga variables for this specific problem, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, yung D natin equals yan kay K over W. So, since ang distance natin dito ay 5 feet, so you will have your 5 equals to, hahanapin natin yung K kasi yung K na yon ang kailangan natin isubstitute pagdating kay JP. So, si K missing pa siya over yung W no is 120. Okay, then we multiply 5 times 120, di ba over 1 yan? Okay, 120 times 5 is 600. Ah, nakikita pa ba? Teka, baba ko. Kasi may nakaharang na dyan, di ba? Okay, 600 equals to K. So, your constant variation will be 600. Okay, pero hindi pa yan yung sagot. Okay, ang kailangan yung hanapin, yung kung ano ba yung distance dapat ni JP. Okay, so, isa-substitute na natin siya. So, we have there D, oops, wait. D is equal to your K, which is 600 divided by, ano nga yun yung weight ni JP? 150. Okay, so your D will be 600 divided by 154. So, aha, ayan. The distance of JP from the full chrome should be 4 feet. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Okay, let's go to number 2. The number of pages of P that Maria reads, it's me, varies directly as the number of hours T. Now, he is reading or she yan kasi binago ko si Ethan yan kanina eh. She is reading. Now, write a variation equation dahil ito ay directly Okay, it means we are having a direct variation. At alam naman natin na ang direct variation ay y is equal to kx. Pero we will be using p and t. So, p is equal to kt. O, eto ngayon yung variation equation nyo. Ah, nakalibre kayo sa akin ng isa. <laughs> ang daya. O, so, ayan na yun. 
Now, if he can read 24 pages in 16 minutes, how many pages can he read in 23 minutes? Okay, binigyan ka ng P at T, hahanapin mo yung K. Yung K na yun, yung gagamitin mo to have this one. Okay, sa problem solving na no? Okay, so let's see. Aha, itaas ko lang ng konti. Oh, ayan. Sige, let's try. So, P and T tayo, diba? Uh, P is equal to KT. Ang P natin is 24 kasi 24 pages siya. Equals to missing si K and then you have 16 minutes. Now, to find for K, you simply divide it by 16. Okay, cancel. So, your K will be 24 over 16. Pero, pwede pa siyang ma-lowest term, di ba? Anong lowest term ng 24 over 16? Divisible siya by 8. So, your K will be 8. <laughs> Sorry. Divisible siya by 8. So, ang K mo will be 24 divided by 8, 3. Over 16 divided by 8, 2. So, eto na ngayon yung K mo. Now, pwede na natin siyang isolve. So, how many pages can she read? Can I read? Okay, so ang P natin, hinahanap natin, equals to K. Ang K natin is 3 over 2. Ano ngayon ang T natin? Ang T natin is 23. Okay, now to find for P, we have to multiply 23 times 3. What is 23 times 3? We have there 9, 69. 69 divided by 2. Oh, what is 69 divided by 2? We have 3 pag dito. And then 9 divided by 2 is 4. May sobrang isa. So, five, 1 divided by 2 is 0.5, diba? So, we have here 34.5 pages or 34 and a half pages. Okay? Or 34 and 1 half pages. Yan yung kaya kong mabasa within 23 minutes. Okay? Oh, Kayang-kaya ang problem solving. Okay, next number 3. The pressure of gas is directly proportional to the temperature and inversely proportional to its volume. Okay, now what happened to the pressure? Oh, write the variation equation. Ito mukhang makakalibre na naman kayo ng isa sa akin. Ha? So, ang pressure daw, isulat natin ha. So, since ang pressure natin ay P, so, laging natin dito P, is equal to, wait. Aha, dito na lang natin ilagay. Para sagot na siya. Ayan. So, aha, the pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the temperature. So, P is equal to, okay, directly proportional siya sa temperature. So, K, T. And inversely proportional to its volume. Okay. So, yan ngayon ang inyong equation. Kasi diba, pag direct, dapat multiplication with your constant. And then, pag inverse naman, that's division. Kaya nasa baba siya. Ngayon, ang tanong, what happened to the pressure if the volume is reduced to half and the te temperature is doubled? So, para malaman natin to, mag-assign tayo ng mga values at i-check natin ano ba yung mangyayari. O, suppose ang ibig nigay kong uh, ay mga letters natin ha K is 2 and then yung time natin ay yung temperature natin is 8 and then yung volume natin is 4 kung ito yung basic or yung unang given natin bago ma-apply ito let's try ano yung magiging sagot since we have P is equal to K T over V we will have now here 2 times 8 ilan yon we have 16 di ba oh wait 16 over 4, kasi yun yung V. So, 16 over 4, you have a 4. So, kung uh, etong formula, ang gagamitin natin with this given, eto yung magiging sagot natin. Ngayon, sa letter B, binigyan kayo ng condition. Dapat daw, ano ang mangyayari kapag ang volume ko ay kinalahati ko. So, yung K natin, 
2 pa rin. Pero yung volume natin, kalahati na lang. From 4, magiging 2 para ma-compare natin, ha? And then, yung temperature niya, magdo-double siya. So, from 8, magiging 16. Tignan natin kung ano yung magiging pressure niya. So, K times T over V. Ang K natin ay 2 times yung temperature na 16 over 2. 2 times 16. We have, how many? 32. O, divided by 2, you have 16. Anong nangyari sa pressure? From 4, naging 16 siya. Ha? Anong masasabi natin? Therefore, the pressure, na, na, times sa 4 siya, di ba? From 4, naging 16. So, na-multiply siya by 4. So, the pressure, okay, will increase Four times. Apat na beses. Kaya naging 16. Okay, that's for letter B. Uh, now, let's have here number 4. Given the equation y is equal to kmn squared over p, where k is the constant of variation, tell which statement is true or false. So, let's see. y and p. So, kung titignan natin dito, y and p. Direct ba sila? Since etong y at you have here a denominator of p, no. Kasi pag ganyan, si y inversely proportional with our p. So, this is a false. Okay. Now, y and n squared. So, we have here y and n, squ n squared. Directly proportional ba sila? Yes, di ba? Ano to? Uh, direct square variation. Okay. So, this is true. How about y and mn squared? y and mn squared. So, you have two quantities, di ba? And then, you have k. So, joint sila. Jointly sila. So, also, this is true. And then, m and p. Are they inversely proportional? Ha? Titignan mo, ha? Oh, ma'am, division naman yan. Ah. Di ba pag division... Inverse yun? No. Ang consider natin doon, yung nasa kabilang quantity. Magiging inverse lang sila kapag magkaiba sila ng side. Pero kapag nasa, isang silang, nasa isa silang side, no. So, this is a false. And then, for E, Y and M varies directly. So, Y and M, obviously, Direct variation sila. So, this is also true. Okay, for number 5, the volume of cylinder is given by the formula V equals to pi R square. Uh, sorry. V, nabubulol. Volume is equal to pi R squared H. Natawa ba kayo dun? Now, if R is increased by 30% and the height is reduced by 15%, what will happen to the volume? And then, what is the constant variation? So, ah, dito, tingnan na lang natin ha. Ito yung R natin. Kung ito daw ay mag increase ng 30, 30% at may squared, sobrang lalaki or sobrang tataas yung volume natin kahit mag-reduce ang height ng 15%. Kasi yung in-increase niya dito, masasama pa dun sa pag-square niya. So, obviously, ang mangyayari sa volume natin is the volume, oops, oh, sorry, the volume will increase. Oh, yan na yun. And for letter B, give at least three examples of quantities you know or you have or experience that show different types of variation. Oh, ito given ko to ha. Mag-isip din kayo ng sa inyo. Baka mamaya pare-parehas na kayo ng sagot. Ha? Sa akin, Ang uh, example ko ay yung pagkuha ng circumference, ha? Wherein you have uh, pi d. Okay? At uh, pagkuha ng area ng uh, circle. Area ng circle is pi r squared. Okay? And pagkuha ng volume ng cylinder, yung kanina. So, you will have, you will have uh, pi r squared h. Ops, may nakalimutan tayo dito. Oh. Meron pa tayong tanong dito. What is the constant variation? Ano dito yung hindi nagbabago na number or na value? Ito yung pi, which is 3.14. So, the constant variation is pi. 
Okay, so yan lang yun. Ayan, at kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please huwag kalimutang mag-iwan ng comment ha. Alam nyo namang sobrang importante ang comment para mag-up itong video na ito at ma-recommend din sa iba. Okay, at syempre kung hindi naman kayo masyadong busy, i-check nyo naman yung FB page natin at i-follow nyo na rin. Okay, thank you. Let's spread the love of math. Bye!